Let's do it. I think when he holding the all, take the back with the door. The guy, the bitch, me on weird. She grab me all. Every time I was in class for the battle, we had to be in the stand. Yo YouTube, it's your boy YG having his way, man, back with another banger video. And in today's video, man, we finna do 30 minutes of free game on here with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> man, Lil Wat TV, man, what's going on? Bro? Tell them boy where they can follow you at. And y'all go follow YouTube, me man. at L-U-H-W-O-P TV, man, on all platforms. Alright, who we got in the back? You know Lil Dan, you know what I'm saying? Then the creator on YouTube, you know Lil Dan on YouTube is too. And it's Willa Rod, at least. On all platforms, you can follow me at Lil Rod, at least. Yeah, yeah. Cool, some shit got down. You know, everybody in this bit got down, got something going for themselves, you know, other than got down, you know, everybody in school and shit. Mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah, yeah. What y'all boys been up to though? Ain't been up to shit, been right. chopping, hell, yeah. doing YouTube and shit like that, chilling, you know what I'm saying? Going out, partying, doing, going to vibes. Okay, cool. Got down. I've been seeing you do your thing on got down YouTube and shit, but got down. What made you get into like, you know, barbering, cause I've been seeing you like going stupid with the cut hair shit. So like. with the barbering shit, so that was I ain't gonna cap. It was really on some off the wake up type timing. Like mm -hmm. I ain't gonna cap. It really, it's really like it was one night. Boom, I had fell asleep watching three three sixty Jeezy, mm -hmm. and I was watching three sixty Jeezy. But for some reason, when I woke up that morning, I ain't gonna like, like no exaggeration. I, I I'm my dead brother. Like I woke mm -hmm. up the next morning, and I'm literally like. I'm finna try this cut, I'm finna try like, I'm not saying cut hair, I'm finna try it, boom. I did that, um, matter of fact, I actually walked to Walmart. Mm -hmm. I walked to Walmart, nigga ain't had no pay, none of that. So y'all know, a nigga walked to Walmart. So you went and got the clippers? Like, I went and got it. So, uh, so did you? <laughs> <laughs> right, all right, so like, <laughs> what the, like, when you walked to Walmart and you went to go get the clippers, like, you knew, like, what clippers you wanted to get, or you just picked up some shit? Was Anything that was gonna cut? <laughs> All right, so who was your, like, who was the first person that let you, like, really, like, work on them? Yeah, that's what I finna say, though. But, boom. So, me and my partner walked to Walmart. When that bit, I had got some, um, I had got some clippers. They call it, they start with a K. It's some Chinese clippers. Boom. Mm -hmm. I got them. Cool. I go back to the house. I'm like, shit, I got the clippers, but who I'm finna cut? My partner look at me like, shit, nigga, I'm gonna be your first cut. I'm like, shit, for real? Like, say smooth. So, boom. So I'm chopping it. I'm like, bet let's do it. We go in the bathroom, woo, woo, woo. and I start chopping them. And um, I ain't gonna cap. I really did better than I thought I was gonna do. Mm -hmm. I ain't, I ain't really like fuck them up, but I forgot some steps that I could have did. So that's that just it, though. And that, that, that since then, shit, I just been chopping. It took me like six months to really, to really get right, though. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right, y'all boys, so we back, man. All right, so Lil Rodney got down. What's up? How the hell you getting YouTube, and like, what was your upbringing? All know. right, so YouTube, right? Um, So me and Lil Wap were just talking one day, cause I wasn't staying out here at the time. So mm -hmm. I came out here one weekend, Walt was talking to me, he was like, so you need to get on the YouTube. I'm like, man, he doing it. And I'm like, I've been wanting to do it, so I'm like, shoot, I might well. So, wow, got name. I'm doing YouTube in the A, at school and stuff, doing little interviews and stuff. And then, as soon as you know, I come back out here, but wow, give me a whole camera out of nowhere. I'm like, okay, cool. Mm. I'm like, yeah, oh yeah. I, that's like, that boy was recording on the phone. I just like, best that boy with the candy G7X. Out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. So, I told him, man, I'm not gonna let you down. So, I got on my stuff. As soon as you know, give about what, like three months? I hit like, I hit 1K in three months. Mm -hmm. And then, shoot, just being, keep going. My motivation ain't gonna count. Lil Walk kept me going for real. And then, like, I seen this support system. I seen the, the views and all that going up. So I just kept going with it and just stayed focused. All right, so I ain't gonna count. One thing about it with our group, bro, like, one thing, ain't nobody in our group who ain't. Like when I like when I say I don't put a lot of niggas on, mm -hmm. I don't put a lot of niggas on, but I never take credit for it because right. it's like nigga, these, like these my folks, you see what I'm saying? And then when one thing with my group, like if one eat, we all gonna eat. I don't give a fuck if it's about money. I don't give a damn. We going to the damn corner store and nigga go get that's real some whatever nigga. I get these niggas my last one. God, that's real. That's real. That's real. So um, like for anybody that's like. Like, cause we all do YouTube, we, but we all got like side hustle for like, 
mm-hmm. all the young niggas that's like in the street that really like want to get out the street like yeah what would you tell them like what would y'all tell them like I ain't gonna cap. and they want to get some like legal money like on some legal shit I ain't gonna, right? I ain't gonna cap all my like not all my partners but most of my partners really like in that shit for real so yeah. like mm-hmm. they they be rapping so what i tell them to, like i be telling them leave that leave that shit alone for a little minute even though it'd be hard for them because they've been yeah. in this shit for so long yeah. so i'd be yeah. like twin just chill back you you could actually blow up from rapping like okay smooth like at first at first like my partner my Peanut. partner little three my partner little three and little two they be rapping this shit. they used to rap like a long time ago like when two used to go to john bro mm-hmm. but like i used to tell them all the time like i used to be like twin chill rap twin and you see them boys twin going crazy right now mm-hmm. oh god yeah. cause i remember right. goddamn it was goddamn we were playing football and goddamn twin was like a twin i rap Cause I was rapping that time, but that really wasn't what, 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 that's not what I was trying to do. I was just goddamn doing some shit at the moment. So goddamn, Toon Gag came in the classroom. He was like, Toon, I rap, I really do this shit, goddamn. So he was just telling for like, he really do this shit. So this nigga play a song. I'm like, damn, that's you? He was like, yeah, that's me, Toon. He was like, Toon, this some old shit, I'm really doing it. And then goddamn, three months after that, the nigga left Jones, bro, and nigga took off. Really took off in my that shit. Hey, man, I, that shit time, was crazy though. Every like, time I see that boy, Shawty out doing something. But I, my main thing, my main thing with Shawty, I, I don't. Cause when men to talk, boom, he probably say some shit like that's going on. Woo, woo, woo. Mm-hmm. But I don't condone that shit. Like right. I, 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 I let, I let him know all the time. Like he, he'll, he'll tell you damn stuff. I let him know all the time. Like twin, no twin. Like. Do this, twin. Do this, I like. I be trying to tell him, like, that yeah. shit not the way you twin. Cause you that, if I had money, twin, that shit. But he, de- he definitely, he definitely understand. He doing his thing or whatever. So I don't, mm-hmm. so I don't fuck with nobody and shit like that. Like, if, if he got what he got with you, then that's, that's, that's just what he got with you. He gonna stand on that. Feel me? But one thing about it, y'all definitely smart. And I, de- and I definitely got some partners that's in the street. Like, yeah. nigga ass yeah. out of your bed. Hitting, right. hitting whips and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But my main thing with that is... I just be trying to bring them niggas more closer to me, like, cause I know I'm a nigga who can, good who influence. can, like, good influence on niggas and shit like that. Like, yeah, even some dad. of my partners, that's some young niggas. Like, my partner got them little bam and like them niggas, them niggas that be tripping sometimes. But I have to, <laughs> I, have to <laughs> I have to get the niggas right. Like, yesterday, a nigga called, this, this nigga called my phone about some more shit. He like, twin, I got some business shit. I got a business idea for you, twin. I'm like, what's up? He gonna tell me about some straight crash shit. <laughs> I'm like, gang. I'm like, gang. Tomorrow, I'm about like tomorrow, nigga. I'm coming to get you, twin. Like, for real. I'm real. I'm yeah. real. Like, I'm real. Like, after this shit, I'm gonna go pull up on this nigga and real deal. Goddamn, get his ass right. Like, he tripping. But he definitely. I'm like, in these they 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 right. Just like niggas starting brands and shit. Rich over mm-hmm. love fits. The nigga got going crazy, man. They but little twin, my mama. I don't cap little twin. They like they done did some shit that done inspired me or motivated me. Like yeah. boom, Lil Twin started a van, a, uh, a brand. Boom, probably like two months later, he done sold out of like I think he sold out of like three hundred shirts. Mm, that's cool, crazy. He sold out of three hundred oh, shirts in t- in three months. So he came in my house. He finna come get a haircut or whatever. Boom, he like look Twin. I like, he like I gotta show you some shit. Like I really, I really proud of myself. I gotta show you some shit Twin. Like for real. Shit, I'm like, what you gotta show me Twin? Man, Shotty pull out a B roll by a dick tall full of twenties and hunches. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, man. like, bag, like, twenty your ass. That's real though, like the clothing brand. That's really the way, man. I just wish, goddamn, I wish that situation would goddamn long little Tay. I just wish that situation that happened away. My mama knows shit that happened with because mm-hmm. twenty was going up, like, yeah. and he stayed to himself. He wasn't really in the mission nobody. Y'all need some haters. I nigga, swear. nigga used to always call me like twenty, like, cause I'm the cameraman, so everybody know I do photography. So he called me like twenty. What you got going, nigga? I'm not charging this nigga a dime. All he gotta do is come pick me up, cause at the time I ain't have a look. So goddamn, he was like, all right, I'm on the way to get you. You finna goddamn go do this shoot for this brand. Nigga doing this, doing brand shoots, goddamn, every single week. I'm talking about shit selling out, selling out. So now he going, he like, goddamn, his sister got it, goddamn. I just seen it. It ain't right there. No. Not that mine. That bit was in the seat, but goddamn, I can get it to you. <laughs> But yeah, goddamn, Twin now, goddamn, definitely doing his things, man. So uh, I'm going to put his brand somewhere in the video. Make sure y'all boys go um, go shout with Rich Off Emotion, man. That's my definitely. guy. Long live yeah. Tay, man. Long live Tay, man. Don't yeah. cap.
So goddamn then, what made you get inside the clothing brand shit? Cause I see you got down, you got your shit going on. Let them folks know what your brand is and goddamn what, like who motivated you? Like what clothing brand owner like motivated you or who motivated you to get inside that clothing brand shit? That's a good ass question. But like really, it was really motivation. For one, my shit is uh, Dexterity Studios, Dexterity Dot Studios mm -hmm. on Instagram. And two, who really got me into this bit? It was like. I think Chase, Chase 1K, mm. uh, Chris 2 Dior, mm. and really my grandpa. Mm. It's emotion. But like, what really, what really pushed me is after my grandpa passed, like, that shit really, like, I'm like, damn, I know he want me to do something greater than what I'm doing right now. Cause I used to just be at home sitting on the game playing Fortnite and shit all the time. Like, mm. that, shit, that shit got old. Like, yeah, I got the best story for this I shit really, too. I really came to realization, like, Really, you can't be living with your mom forever. You gotta make Man, your own way. And what? I used to do some other shit, and I realized that shit not it either. Like scamming that shit bad to me. Like it, it might work for some niggas, but not for all niggas. Cause Man, boy, I tried they, that shit. Boy, they try to get me to hop in that shit. I just yeah. couldn't. Like yeah, nigga no. be drippy as fuck. No, not going by. You be having. But that quit money, bro. That shit be bad. Yeah. I had to learn that the hard way. Wow, that was some all money, that good money shit. And I actually got a backstory on what you said about that game shit. I actually, um, before I had started, um, what I doing? Oh yeah, before I started doing cutting hair and shit like that, I actually had sold. I had a, I had two PS fives. I sold them hoes because I used to be a gamer type, like crazy <laughs> gamer oh, type. No. Nigga, needs to, my main schedule was to get up in the morning, brush my teeth, hop right on the game, hop right, right, right on the game. Yeah, I don't know, no nigga, I don't know. Know. Full to the end of the night. Yeah. Boom, I sold my game. After that, nigga sitting in the house, like, shit, I'm looking at the wall and shit. So what's next? Got now, boom. And after that, that's when I kicked my shit up. And um, I ain't gonna cap. And I had a little stage at, I ain't gonna cap. I had a little stage at one point. All niggas go through shit. Mm -hmm. I had a stage at one point where a nigga was like going through depression, anxiety and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Not saying nigga I was trying to like, like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna really say too much about it, but like, on some on some crazy shit like running thoughts through your nigga head and I yeah. damn on some suicide shit like shit was it was crazy. I had to get out of that shit though and I really had I had to go find myself. Mm -hmm. So really like I had to learn learn to be okay with being alone and shit like that. And after that, um after that nigga had to really start like just finding businesses. So as of right now, nigga on three businesses. Uh I'm actually trying to get into the clothing shit. So but I just speak it into existence, you know what I'm saying? Right. On some, on some yeah. manifestation. Manifestation. Right. It's crazy so, though, because I wanted yeah. I wanted to got now start a clothing brand, but I was like, okay. That's not really like, like Yeah, like everybody everybody like everybody do clothing, like everybody got rich, everybody got some like, it's like okay some with money in it. Yeah, clothing. so it's yeah. like okay, make a brand that stands out that don't revolve around money, cause the money gonna come as long as your brand hard, you know everybody got down. I ain't gonna lie, do. it's not it's not necessarily about the clothing being hard because you can have something plain as fuck on your shit and that shit will blow like mm -hmm. it's just all about how you market your shit mm -hmm. and how you how you push it out to people and that's how that shit go nowadays it really right. bro as long as whatever the graphic on your shirt look like is fine they don't give a fuck about what your name say. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't care about that shit. That shit hard, man. Niggas don't want to buy that shit. Or, and when I first seen Hellstar, that shit was crazy. I'm like, what the fuck is Hellstar? God yeah, man. Hellstar really, but Hellstar really popped it off. Man, the Hellstar, guy, I ain't gonna lie. Hellstar, the graphic and Kwan, is crazy. All of them, they really started this shit. Like, really. Yeah, them boys, uh, them boys definitely lit when it came to that. Yeah, yeah, God. Right. Hey, yeah, Kwan that hard. But like, I ain't gonna count. Like, what? How y'all feel about God? Uh, you can speak to other shit. Well, like one thing about the clothing shit, like niggas think it's just it's gonna come like that, but whole time, but that shit is a process because you gotta you gotta sign, you gotta you gotta do a whole bunch of shit. Like, See, I feel like anything, I feel like an artist shit a process. Goddamn YouTube process, everybody, everybody not gonna blow at the same time. You see, goddamn, like it's crazy. Like, I ain't never speak on this, but goddamn, if y'all go watch your first video, her first ever video, the one that got a million views, the first one, when she talked about the people that um, told her to start YouTube and helped her manage her channel, I was mentioning that, like, I, I helped this girl set up her whole goddamn email, name, everything, like, it's crazy, and she was like, she was like, twin, I'ma do it, I'ma do it, goddamn, bad right bullshit, she ain't never do it, then two months later, she started doing that bit, goddamn, next thing you know, 5K. 10k net week 
third week coming up, 20K, she just started going up. And it's crazy, though, because she just be herself. Like, she just go to school and vlog. She going to make sure she get a fight, though. Like, oh, <laughs> she going to get her a fight in that bitch. She got way. She, she front row. God, she, front row. Like, and one thing row. about it, when it when it come to the YouTube shit, but don't, like, then when you start your camera and you be like, damn, what should I say? What should I say? But a lot of niggas, they don't do intro. Like, that intro shit, that shit. I said, what's that last word you fed off of? Oh yeah, like I was saying before the camera cut off, uh, y'all could be on some little watch shit. Like y'all see me be having old, like the holes in the video. Not necessarily. I'm not necessarily saying like use the whole video, 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 mm -hmm. video. Yeah. But at least get some, make some connections. Like you feel me? So that way you sure. could you could be around the hole and still be making your money. Like, right. You feel me? Or me. if you run into the right ones, you make sure she's the right one, not distracting you to it. Like. Make sure she on the tube. Oh, you. God. My Make thing sure. is, yeah. when I get a, when, it, when I talk to a girl or anything like that, the first thing I tell her, you not, like, I swear, this is what anybody I ever talk to, the first thing I tell them is, if you not willing to do no YouTube with me or you not ready to tag along with this shit and adjust, I can't fuck with you. It's, it's a business, business really, really, at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, it's a business at the end of the day. And I know you're going to be in your feelings when you see me out with <laughs> other bitches other and doing videos. Yeah, like, one hoe, she told me, she like, you can go do that, woo, woo, woo. But I'm like, I don't feel right with that because, shit, I'm allied. It's, it's basically cheating at that point. And yeah. I ain't that type of nigga to, not saying, just fuck over a girl. Mm -hmm. So, well, my thing is with that, it's like, if you ain't on what I'm on, like, I can't really fuck with you. But you can use the girls as as content. I ain't going to lie. That's the trending topic right now. That's why. That is the trending yeah, topic. Yeah. I'm talking about anything All with a girl is going to blow. With females. I got two videos dropping back to back. That shit crazy. When I seen your got down that, that second blind day, because I seen your first video. I'm like, okay, cool. He make it. Like, he trying to he trying to see what's going to take him to the top. Yeah. So, goddamn, I see that second blind day. I don't know what the girl name is, but I see that second blind day. I'm looking at that bitch. That bitch said 100K. I said, goddamn, they ain't going stupid. No, no, no. That, that was the first. That was the first. <laughs> And the second one. one was with Zo. Yeah, that bit. Mm. The, the second, the first blind day. Like over time, did you just wake up and like that bit was going up? That's what that bit did. Over time, like when you yeah. woke up, like like how it happened after you post, like like explain that process, like going to sleep, waking up, like going to sleep, process. waking up ten, waking up twenty, waking up. 30. So you weren't thinking it wasn't going to do nothing for real? Like, what you thought? Like, what was your thinking process on the vid? Like, like you knew you had some hot shit, but, like, did you think it was going to do what do, it did? Yeah. So, really, I didn't think it was going to do exactly that. Like, that shit was crazy. I actually woke up, boom. I seen it. I woke up one day. It was at a little, little 50,000. I'm like, okay, shit. I'm like, God damn, they been rising. I'm like, they been probably going to start, though. Mm. Boom. I woke up, like, probably, like, three days later. That be like one hundred and twenty thousand. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> like, what the hell? Boom! Then YouTube monetized me um, after the video, and then it's still going right now. Mm -hmm. So really, when YouTube monetized me after that video, I ain't gonna cap. Like, I was happy, but then again, I was kind of like, I was kind of blown because it's like, y'all ain't gonna pay me for them views that I just did, but y'all gonna pay me for the views that it's, it's doing coming. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. The most I made off that video was probably like, I ain't gonna say the exact number, yeah, but, but close to 1200. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That shit crazy. That shit is wild. And then every month, then shit, I just been getting them chats in from YouTube. Nigga, that shit ain't really going good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit crazy. Goddamn. So, shit. Oh, yeah, and another thing, with that, with that, since I'm on the side, I can tell y'all some shit. When it comes to like uh, doing videos and stuff like that, you get your watch time up. Like the, like when your video's long, that, that shit pays. Like that shit pays. So like your video's long. Like at and, least an hour video. Yeah, like that or or at the minimum, I, at the minimum your video should be, 30. it's like 20, 30 minutes. Like yeah. when your video is that long, it do good numbers. Like it do good numbers, yo, like far as money wise and shit like that. And um, another thing is like try to like make all your and for right now try to make all your content as real as you can and hop on trends right now whatever trending boom 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 that's like coin he started off with the fashion wave um that's when shit wasn't really trending like that it was just prints and trend, shit like trend like that coin made his trend and then after that everybody hopped on his trend and then he hopped on some other people trend but now that coin is big enough to where he got his own set of fame best and yeah. it's not just on recommended and there's people coming from everywhere but it's literally like a cozy fan base yeah, yeah. he make his own content he do whatever the hell he want to do Quan can make a video right now and just be like shit i'm finna go take a walk 
Everybody go, everybody go, go look at that shit because he got his own set fan base. His own set fan base is a million people. That's literally his own set fan base. And if it's more than a million, that means it's his fan base and everybody else from over the world. So his fan base is like a million. I watch people. that nigga Casper a lot. Like, I just think like that nigga be preaching. It's like nigga hard. Like, that nigga, do that nigga be yapping. talking. He be he be yapping, but he be talking some shit though. Like a lot of niggas be hating on that nigga, and that nigga come back and be like, nigga, look at the numbers. <laughs> look, look at my numbers. pocket. Like him, like he used to show yeah. money, like he said, but he don't do that shit no more. Cause right. goddamn, it speak for itself. I do. Uh, I get twelve cent every one thousand view. Mm. So. Imagine I do 300,000 views. You can do the number on that shit your damn self. I don't mean that shit. That shit crazy. I, I feel like YouTube should really got down. Or should I show them the number of what that is? Shit. I can show them. You can show them. I, I feel like, I feel like they should read that jump back up, though. Like, it should be different. Like, YouTube, YouTube got enough money where they can pay a little bit more, like, by the view. The, so they're going to do 0 0.012. Yeah, 0 0.012 times 300K. And this is what you would make off a of video if yo if you was doing if you was doing um 12 cent every 1k view. You made $3600 and it all pays out. So did you set up your Google AdSense? Yeah, I get paid from YouTube. All right, cool. So tell them like what that process look like. That process that Google ads. That shit that shit is like it's gonna take you probably like okay, the setup take setting it up to take like like a day or two mm -hmm. and then for everything to clear through because you gotta go through tax forms, mm -hmm. um, social security numbers and shit like that. It's probably be like a week and then you gotta wait probably like another week and it's gonna send you a code, you're gonna type the code in, boom, 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 and from there on you set up shit, jeez. And in the midst of that process in the midst of that process, you will have a earning balance of what you're making. Um, building up, it'll be building up while that process is going on. So it's not like you'll be monetized, but you're not making no money until all this shit gets set up. Right. Then when you do set that up, it'll pay you at the end of the month. So every month, every month you get paid um, on the 21st, or either you can set your own date on when you want to be paid at on, on the month. Mm -hmm. And um, really, like, I ain't gonna cap. It's like it's like um, however many videos you do out of that month. At the end of the month, that shit just gonna all That's build up, dude. build up, build up, build up. So say I do goddamn ten videos, ten videos at the end of the damn uh, in that in that whole month. Mm. Ten videos times thirty six hundred. They all got three hundred k. All my videos. So goddamn, you're gonna do thirty six hundred times ten on the twenty first. Yo ass be getting a paycheck of thirty six thousand dollars. Tax it. They're gonna tax it. You probably get thirty four. 34 racks at the end of the month. Yeah, that's why the YouTubers are so rich. That you why make I got your them. own paycheck. Just be consistent. That's why I love this nigga Casper, bro. Like, when niggas say you really get paid from the phone, you ain't got to do shit, you ain't got to clock no job, you get paid from a phone, Doing twin. Doing shit all day. I don't lie. This the one. This all you need. The camera, you know, like, for all my starter YouTubers that... Bro, you don't got to get a camera, twin. Start with your phone. Get comfortable with this, bitch. Once you get comfortable with this, then you go pick up a camera. Because once you're comfortable with this... The camera just gonna fall in place. So gonna be, you don't want to go pay all that money, and then you're not even comfortable using your own cell phone. And then, phone, so. and then you don't end yeah. up consistent either. Yeah, consistency yeah, is lie. key though. That consistent shit. And that shit hard. It's I'm hard. not gonna lie. I'm about it's to say, you it's hard as hell. Like, it's hard, definitely. Like, it's hard. Got them especially, editing. Like, that's for people that edit by themselves. Not hard, bro. Yeah, editing, recording is easy. Oh editing, my god, it's like editing crazy. I don't lie. I wish we had more editors. Like. Cause editors get paid too though. Like a lot of these big YouTubers, they got editors. Got and all they do is sit at their house and yet. edit for you folks. <laughs> say, and they get paid through that. Me and my boy, um, J Tony. Shout out to Josh, J Tony on Instagram. Boom. Me and Josh, I ain't gonna calculate out this shit. Me and Josh, it was, I think we was probably like 10, 11 years old. I've been doing YouTube since I was seven. Like I always knew what, I, what the hell I was gonna do. Mm -hmm. And it's so crazy cause my parents manifested my life before I was born or what I was gonna be. It's mm -hmm. for some reason, like, I ain't need no exaggeration. Again, on my dead brother, nigga, they literally manifested that I was gonna be a social media influencer. Like, literally, they they always said this shit. And it was crazy, cause last month, one day, they would, then my mama just kept telling me, she's like, I need to talk to you. I'm like, why, mama? Like, like you need to tell me what you, what you <laughs> talking about, cause she really had me scared for a minute. Right. So boom, so she got me in a the room, they closed the door. It's my, my pops sitting on the bed and shit like that. 
And I know they're like, you man, you know you manifest here. Like I'm like, I'm really in my head like what type of weird shit y'all on manifest. <laughs> like what you mean with manifesting my life? I said just like what, what, what you mean manifesting my life? They're like like we knew that you was gonna be something like we knew that you right. like this is what you was gonna do and it's so crazy because you living in what we manifested, but like like and it's like shit like it ain't really they was really lost for words for real. Like and it was crazy. But um, me and Josh so we start, I really started off with Josh and my, well, I really got the motivation from my sister because my sister is a YouTuber too. She got like 10K on um, on YouTube. Mm. Um, she, and I seen her first paycheck from YouTube and I, that bit really opened my eyes up. Like, damn, boy. Like, and I was like, I think I was like, nah, yeah, that opened my eyes up. And I was always a big supporter of my sister when it comes to her YouTube. Like, I used to get on Instagram and shout out every day. Mm. And then, boom, I got Josh. Cool, we were doing videos every day. We in the garage doing videos, setting up tables. We'd go to dealerships, do video, like car dealerships. We'd be doing little skits and shit like that. Boom. So one day I had like, it was probably like uh, last year. Yeah, last year I had got a MacBook and I had got a camera, but I didn't buy the, I didn't buy the MacBook for me. I actually bought the MacBook for Josh. I mm -hmm. bought a MacBook. It was $700. I gave that bitch to Josh and surprised him like, this is your shit from editing and being a cameraman because that's that's like all he been far as like far as to come up like mm. i bought my boy macbook she had got him a camera the um sony tv e10 and that um uh, macbook pro gave that shit to him and she shot it was happy as hell and now we just still growing like we not nowhere near there yet we just growing this shit just the beginning yeah.